Um, I thought I'd do this video before I eat an entire box of macaroni and cheese, and the shirt looks like I am having a kid instead. So anyways, I went to a store today and bought this shirt, which is the 511 um, concealment shirt. It's the shirt that's got the built-in um, concealment carry, concealed carry pockets in it. So, it, it wasn't very cheap. I mean, it was about 60 bucks. I did have a little $5 off coupon, so not too terrible. Uh, I thought I'd wear it around the house. I have the tag on because I'm a tightwad, uh, and I don't know if I'm going to keep it or not. But I figured I could do a quick review over my initial thoughts. I've been wearing it around the house all day, and uh, it's been been all right. Uh, let's see. It's considered, yeah, the 511 Undergear Holster Shirt. So, that's what it is, according to them. Uh, it's a nice shirt. It's real, they're, they're tight. This is a size small. I'm about 5'9", 150, 155 pounds. Um, I'll be 160 after I eat that entire box of macaroni and cheese. Uh, but, that's beside the point. So, that's a rough estimate. I got the small size. They didn't have a medium. I think medium might actually be too loose. Because you kind of want these things to be tight so that they they snug up against you so they're not flopping around when you're just you know doing your everyday movements uh, it says it's it's more for medium size pistols which I can see that um, right now I have both my baby Glock Glock 27 and my full-size Beretta 92 FS in it which I probably wouldn't carry two at one time you could but you know you could always carry one and then a couple mags in the other one or you could carry a revolver on each side I think it'd be really good for revolvers because they're slim with uh, not a whole lot to snag. Uh, they come, they have these little Velcroies that'll hold the gun in there. Uh, I at first thought you would have it, you know, so the, the butt would stick out, but that would print way too much if you had a shirt over top of this. So you would definitely want it in there. And these things go down quite a ways here. This is my full size Beretta. And I mean, you can see here, my hand goes all the way down to there. So they're, they're pretty deep pockets. They can definitely hold a full-size pistol because that's what this is. And it can fit all the way in there like so. I don't know if you can see the detail on that or not, but that's, yeah. Uh, I think they're much, let me get this out of here. And I, I've been carrying these loaded so I could tell what the weight distribution would be. Um, and it's, it's not too bad. They actually hold them really well. Uh, the Glock I have on this side, and it's also loaded. No pinky extender mag on it right now. I do have one of those. I'll probably wear it tomorrow around the house. But, you know, they fit in there really well. It could go down to, like, right about here. So, I mean, if you're, I think a mid-size would be better because the grip would stick out a little bit more, whereas if I had to get this in a pinch, I'd be kind of fumbling. So you want kind of a, a thicker, or the, you want the longer grip on it, which I think like if I had a Glock 23 instead of the 27, it'd be perfect for this shirt. Uh, I had something else I was going to say, but I forgot about it. It was like one second ago. I'll get it. I'll get it. Or maybe I won't get it. Anyways. Um, I even kind of ran up and down the stairs to see how much these things would move in the pocket, and they don't move very much. Sorry about the tag flopping in the way, but yeah. And, I mean, you turn side to side. They move a little bit, but this thing holds them pretty snug. These are also padded, so you're not sitting there, um, you know, getting jacked by safety switches like on the Beretta. You really couldn't feel the external safety on it poking up against you or anything which was nice or the slide release um, the Glocks obviously don't have a whole lot to them which I think makes them perfect for a shirt like this because you're not going to get them snagged on anything really they're just going to slide right out whereas I think if you have a hammer a hammered um, pistol you could get it you know caught on the velcro which you know it shouldn't stop it because it's just a small square but it could. Um, basically, that's my first impression of this shirt. I, I like it so far, um, but it's 
still like 55, 60 bucks, and I don't know if I want to drop that on a shirt. I think I will because, you know, it's kind of gross to wear something for a day or two and then take it back. And my next video, I'll probably do one with it um, concealed, actually, have like a shirt on over top of it. Maybe, you know, I work in a bank, so I have to wear, I have to wear a shirt and tie most of the time. So maybe I'll do one of those and see if you guys can, if, if you see if you can print or if I print very much. Uh, but yeah, that's about it for this little video. Um, so far, I like the shirt. It'll probably stay with me. But I, you know, that's 50 bucks. I could buy like silver or I could buy ammo or something with it. Even though I have plenty of both of those, I don't really need to. I should probably get more gear and food and med supplies. But... Like I said before, I think I told you guys, I live at home right now, so my parents buy all the food for this house. It's fantastic. And the beer. That's the best part about living at home. Free fucking beer. So, you know, people crack on me all the time. Ooh, why don't you move out? You're almost 30. I'm like, I get free beer every day of the week. How can you? You can't leave that. Can you? But seriously, I will be leaving sometime. Uh, anyways... That's my first impression of the 511, what was it, the 511, god damn it, I am retarded, 511 under gear holster shirt, not that you need to see the tag or anything, but yeah, that's it, I'll show you the back side of it, it's got these yokes that go down, and that's what holds them in place, holds the pistols in place, pretty good, and it distributes your weight, so overall I like it, I think it'd be a good a very good everyday carry for you know somebody who has to wear button-up shirts and ties every day and you know they don't want co-workers if they can carry there they don't want co-workers to see them printing or have like a shoulder holster that's flopping around so I think it's a good idea I like the shirt um, it makes me look a lot more um, chiseled than what I really am but hey I'm not gonna complain so I think it'd be great if you're in a pinch and you had to like leave your house and you could just throw a gun or two in here and you know mags in your pocket and you could be out the door so anyways good shirt I uh, look forward to maybe tomorrow or maybe later tonight if I'm nah, not later tonight I'm gonna be having beers tonight uh, free beers on my parents so yeah uh, tomorrow I'll probably do a video on having you know dress clothes on over top of it and I don't, I don't know how easy it's going to be like to get in and add it, because I mean, let's say you have a shirt on here, just, you know, that's kind of fumbling, and I'm sure, you know, if you practice more, you get better at it. Practice makes perfect, so, yeah, tomorrow I'll do another video and uh, give you guys my impressions of it while having nice dress clothes on. Thanks for watching.